Hello and welcome to PHP RSS Feeds Automated System Part 20. And we're about to wrap this thing up. But first, let's go play in Twitter. Open your newly or your existing Twitter account and have that open. And then down here at the bottom, you will see a link called Developers. Click that link. And that will take you to a page that looks something like this. And what you want to click next is create an app. So we're going to create an app. And we're going to call this. Uh, first, we're going to log in. Gonna put our user account there. And my password, if I remember the lame little password I used. Oh yeah, and I'm not going to remember this because I'm going to kill this account. The reason I'm going to kill this account is because uh, if I leave it on there, you guys can mess with it. Don't want that. So we're going to call this application test app, and we're going to describe it as a test app. And we're going to put a website of, uh, uh, let's see, H HTTP uh, oh, www. I'm going to say dot com slash news and URL callback we don't need that developer rules of the road we're going to agree to those and uh, wow that's kind of ugly all right that looks a little easier l on s t s o c t L A B O R S. Okay, so we're going to create our Twitter application. Uh, description is too short, minimum of 10 characters. Description, test application. One. Okay, now we're going to try this again. Create our Twitter application. Not a valid URL format. Okay, let's take that out and try it now. Not a valid URL format. The application is publicly accessible. Fully qualified URL is used to source attribution tweets application. If you don't have a URL yet, just put a I uh, don't know what, okay, yes, that's the problem. I have a semicolon instead of a colon. So, then I'll just try this again under news. Okay. See if that works. Test app has already been taken for a name. Test application one, or test app. Okay, test app. One three seven six five four three eight two. Okay, let's try that. And I'm going to copy that just in case. Copy. And uh, let's see if we can get through there now. Okay, our application has been successfully created. Okay, so the first thing we want to do now is we can see we have a consumer key, a consumer secret, a request token, but we we need all four of these things that we're going to need. So we're going to create an access token now. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and this is a read-only, so uh, I skipped something here. What I need to do is I need to go to settings here in this, settings, and down below, it's going to say read only access. We're going to check this read and write. Now, apparently in the past, I've always had to do this twice. So let's see what happens. Okay, now it comes back to the settings and it says it's changed. And now it's read only and we want read and write. So for some odd reason, I have to do this like twice. Okay, 
Now, when we have read and write, that is exactly what we need right there. So we have application type read and write. And we have our application. So we go back here to details. And if we go back down to the bottom, recreate my access token. Okay. We have recreated the access token. Now, in your browser, open up this, uh, or in your uh, Notepad++. First, copy the consumer key. Then in Notepad++, open up your uh, tweet cron. And on consumer key, you paste that in just like so. Go back to your browser and copy your consumer secret. You copy that. And then you go back over here to your uh, Tweetcron PHP and you see Consumer Secret and paste that in there. Make sure you have no spaces at the beginning or the end of either of these lines, any of these lines, or this won't work. Now we're going to go back over here and you can see Access Token when you double click it, that has a dash. So that tells me that that's the right one. So you just go over here and you copy that. This is the one that has a tendency to uh, leave trailing or leading or trailing spaces. So paste that in there and we can see that it does have leading spaces. Take out any leading spaces and make sure there's no space between this uh, single quote. All right, the next one is going to be OAuth secret. So we go back over here and we're going to copy OAuth secret. And then we go back to our script, and we're going to paste OAuth secret in there. Okay, now our tweet cron should be ready to rock and roll and put tweets out on that. So we're going to save tweet cron, and I'm going to go ahead and go into my FTP here. And I have navigated out to another directory that I need to be back into my uh, Wings Today directory. Uh, wings today news okay and I'm going to refresh this side of the directory which is htdocs news which is where I put this uh, Twitter OAuth needs to go in there uh, tweet cron which I just did needs to go in there and OAuth PHP needs to go in there so there are three files I need to upload to my site now let's go here and we are done with this. So we're going to go back to Twitter dot com. And let's see if it takes takes me back. Yes, it takes me back to test account. Now I'm gonna go with tweets and I'm gonna see if I have any tweets. I have these two tweets and that's the only tweets that I have. So now uh, from here I'm going to open a window and I'm going to go to my website slash news slash tweetcron dot php and let's see what errors we throw it did not throw an error interestingly enough so let's see if we got a new tweet. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's just refresh. Aha, uh -huh. we have a tweet. So if you did this exactly the way I showed you, you're going to have tweets. So we go back over here to Tweetcron. Uh, wings today, which one was blank? Uh, okay, over here, Tweetcron. I'm going to run this now. I'm going to give it a second. I'm going to run it again. Give it a second. I'm going to run it again. Give it a second. Now go back over here to my test account. And you can see I have three new tweets. So, okay, here's what's happening now. You have your tweet cron. You've set up your tweet, tweet, blah, blah, tweet cron here. You put in your information, and obviously you put it in correctly because you're making tweets. So now, every time you visit this file on your server, which is right here, every time this file gets visited, I'm going to reload, and it's going to make a new tweet. So 
from here we can put this into that cron account that we set up earlier you do recall the cron account and if you don't recall the uh, cron account go back to part 17 setting up the free external cron and then watch that video and set up a cron account and then put this URL here this exact URL put this copy and then you would paste that URL into your uh, cron that you set up. I'm not going to go into there because I don't feel like fuzzing anything out. So that's that. Uh, I'm tweeting accounts. Every time, if you put this in your cron and set it up to run, say, once an hour, once every two hours, once a day, whatever, this is going to automatically tweet something in every uh, tweet instance. Now just look the, uh, look the tweet over and see if that tweet is what you want it to say. Now let's check the link. We go here, Boeing trims vacated 727 delivery slots to reduce risk. Let's see if that's the story it was supposed to be. Boeing trims vacated 727 delivery slots to reduce risk. Sure enough. Now let's try this one down here. Uh, actually this one doesn't even have a title involved so I gotta figure out what's going on in my database about that. Well, let's see. I can just click on that and go to it. Click the headline. There is absolutely no title here. I can see I've got an empty record so I'm going to have to figure out why I'm getting empty records in my tweets or, or in my system and uh, write some logic in to keep from getting empty records. This is the first website I've ever gotten an empty record in there so I don't know what it is. Maybe I'll do an update. Uh, look on this series for updated things. Let's see how long this is going. It's 11 minutes, so I got a, I got a second here. Yeah, look on this series, follow, rate, subscribe, and uh, I will make those updates like part 22, part 23, etc., and they will say updates to the scripts. So if you're looking at this now and you can see updates underneath there, this is where you're going to find the updates that you can use. So I'll go back over here to this, and I'm going to click one that does have a populated, yep, and that's exactly where it needs to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this account, get rid of it, delete the uh, uh, thing that I've made for that, and I'm going to put this on my regular uh, Wings Today account, and I'm going to have this tweeting these stories. So this is how you make a Twitter bot. This is how you make the Twitter API work for you. And this is how you set it up on a timed schedule. So now all you have to do is turn these on to tweets, turn these on to Twitter. Uh, for your Twitter account, if your account is aviation related, uh, do aviation searches in here and search people who have an interest in aviation. Add anywhere from, I don't know, up to 200 follows a day. Don't add any more than 200 follows a day. If you add too many follows, and actually it's close to eight 900 if you add that many, uh, Twitter will suspend your account. And you don't want to get suspended, so add like 200 followers a day for a few days until you start getting followers. Once you start getting followers, they'll retweet things and stuff like that. There's another uh, website, a really good one that I want to suggest, so once you've got to about, if you're going to go that far with it and you're following like a thousand people, uh, after about a week or so you're going to want to start taking those out. With Twitter, once you hit 2,000 accounts and you don't have 2,000 following you back, they're going to keep you from following anyone else and uh, because they understand the game on that. But follow like accounts similar to what you're tweeting. Uh, if you're tweeting uh, Florida, for example, you would uh, find people in Florida. If you're tweeting pets, you would find people with interest in pets. If you're tweeting a niche market, that's what you want to find and you want to follow those people. So, uh, with this in mind, you have a fully functional and operational uh, news feed system that will collect news automatically, tweet that news automatically, uh, you have a website you can generate and build on. You can add advertising where you want to. You can change the layout. I just really wanted you to get to this point to understand exactly what you have and what you have built. You've built something that is just going to be completely and totally awesome and work wonders for your traffic and your site and interest in your site. 
How I'm going to use mine is I have uh, Wings Today as a website. I have Wings Today on uh, YouTube and I'm going to be doing reports on aviation related items as news items and I'm going to use this to generate a lot of uh, Twitter traffic over the period of uh, give it about a year and see what uh, Wings Today has to offer. Do check in Wings Today, uh, do comment, do rate, do subscribe. I really appreciate that you went through this whole series with me. It's a really long series and I'm going to do a wrap up and credits here in the next video and that's just going to be what that is so for now we're going to go ahead and call it a day and thank you very much once again comment rate subscribe and if you want to watch that credits and uh, and just me babble a little while about these things please watch the next video and take care